This is the Cock Tavern in Smithfield Meat Market. Well, it was, and it served the people that worked here all around the clock. We're making a small piece on Smithfield Meat Market, so I can only summarize what in this short piece here. But the people of Smithfield Meat Market come from a different generation and they're very special. And they worked outside of normal working hours. This pub here would have served them, but not only them, because where it was open in the strange working hours of the butchers, if you are, say, I don't know, a hardened drinker or what we call a chronic piss artist, this would be the pub for you. Because when all of your pubs close, you don't necessarily want to go to a nightclub. You'd turn up here and you can see the sign used to be just there. It's long gone. And it did after that become a sort of a, a I think it was a French style wine bar and it was called Oriole. I'm sure someone can pronounce that far better than me. As you can see though, it looks incredibly grotty today and um, it certainly leaves much to be desired. So there's actually been livestock marketed here or sold here since the 12th century, but this building was only finished in the 1860s. So for generations, not just decades, generations, this was the place to get your meat, whether you was a supermarket, they don't buy it from here anymore, or you was a restaurant or pub. And if you just turn around, you'll see they walked from this door here to what has become just a grotty disappointment. Another loss to London's special nightlife. Because not all pubs need to be beautiful. Not all pubs need to have, you know, uh, an, an aura of opulence when you look at them for them to be special and the stories that would have been shared and had in here will be far more special than any bar that I know will be built today. Well I think so anyway.